Happy Friday, everyone. It is our weekly market update. And I figure I will break up the monotony of me typing up an email and doing you guys a quick video. And as you know, every week I down my, download reports and I always have Pinal County, one of the reports, but then I download the reports uh, for the smaller cities as well, because as you can see, there's still some fluctuation uh, between cities. And if you're a seller in different cities, uh, the report market might be slightly different for you, or if you're a buyer and you're trying to look in these cities, you kind of need to know what's happening as well. So attached to this email is the typical reports that I give you every week. And uh, so I wanted to touch base today on Pinal County, and I wanted to share my screen with you. So Pinal County is, the market index is resting at 36 way right here. and as you can see, it's just a slight seller's advantage. So it's not like it was six months to nine months ago where sellers were getting multiple offers, um, buyers were waiving things, buyers were willing to pay over asking price. Uh, basically their offers were trying to please you. As we know now, the market is starting to stabilize and it brings some panic, especially if you've been following the market for the last two years and it brings a sense of panic thinking, oh, the market's crashing. But if you really look at the data prior to COVID, we're in a normal market and homes are going to take anywhere between, before I would say 30 to 90 days, but it could be 60 to 120 days. Just depends on where your home's located at and the price point and the condition of the home. And so let me go through, explain a little bit with you guys. So for Pinal County, the median list price, and this is based on active listings, is at 420000 And so as you can see right here, it has gone down since July. So every week it has gone down. And so resting today is at 420000 And then again, this is the median. Uh, when it comes to price per square foot, again, it has come down too. So that's why you're seeing those price reductions or what people call price improvements. And then wait here, the average days on market, even median days on market, they are increasing. And when it comes to price uh, decreases and wait here, you can see there it's still increasing, but it's not going up as badly as it did before. Whereas before it was taking some big jumps. So this wait here, since we are still seeing days on market increasing and we're also seeing price reductions, this is meaning people are chasing after the market. That means they're looking at old data. They're not always taking into consideration the current market trends. And so they're pricing the home. And once they price it, they realize, oh, my competitor is not even close to my listing. Matter of fact, we just helped our competitor uh, sell the home. That's what people are realizing now. And so when it comes to home pricing, you usually want to look at historic data to get an idea, but you also have to look at the current trends that are going on. And so when I go to price a home, I meet with sellers all the time. And it's like, hey, if I look at the last three to six months, yes, your home should be listed here, but based on current market activity, buyers are purchasing here. And so there is more going into the pricing evaluation when it comes to that. And so a lot of people think it's just, oh, just throw a number out there. No, you have to have some um, strategy when it comes to it. And so I know for a lot of home solar, uh, sellers right now, it's hard to take it in knowing that, hey, a few months ago, your house was worth this amount. And now buyers are only willing to pay this amount. Keep in mind, your home value still has increased, hopefully since you own the home, unless um, you bought it recently, then you're watching the market a little bit too closely. And so there's always going to be those fluctuations. And right now we're in the market that's stabilizing. So we're not in the market where it was like in the pandemic where it just kept going scoring up and the market couldn't keep up with it. Now it's stabilizing and we're having to look at home pricing in a different way. Uh, we still know it's a good market because 1% of the listings are being relisted. So that means when they're coming on the market and you have patience and let the listing do its time, it's being sold. So that is good news. Uh, inventory is increasing. So in Pinal County, as of right now, there's over 3,000 homes in, in Pinal County for sale. And inventory is slowly increasing. And what's also happened right now, and I'm sure you guys are paying attention, 
uh, when it comes to interest rates. Interest rates have increased. And so for some buyers, uh, it has pushed them out of their game. And so it inventory has gone up and now we have a smaller pool of buyers. So we're not going to have as many showings happening now. And that's understandable. And then with the holidays coming up, you're going to have some people who are just need a break and want to enjoy the holidays. So they're going to st step back from the home search. And then you're going to find on the other side, you're going to have people who are like, nope, as soon as a home comes on the market, that means their needs, they're going to be looking at it. So coupling it with the 1% re re uh, being realistic in the marketplace shows that there's still a demand for housing. And then right here, a lot of people ask me, how's rent prices? Well, back in July, it was at its highest. Uh, the median rent was about 2200 Now it's down to about 2000 Let's just round up 2100 So rent is still competitively high. And so when it comes to that, for buyers who are paying rent, keep that in mind, that is 100% interest. You're not paying anything that's going towards you. You're actually helping your landlord. So there are buyers out there that are getting notices about rent increases. Matter of fact, I have some family members that rent and uh, and every year they're getting that increase and every year we're having a conversation. So let me go through and explain uh, why it's a slightly uh, seller's market. So wait here, I am going to put it on median list price, market segments. So what the market segments are, so they took the current inventory in Pinal County, the 3,000 homes, and they divided it into quarters. And each quarter they did a median list price. So there's going to be the top nine or the top end, the medium top end, and then um, you're going to have the very bottom and then one up above it. And so way here for Pinal County, the uh, top end for median list price. Let's see. Oops, not let me bring it down more. So the top end is just about 700,000. And so we're getting about 57 new homes in this top end price bracket coming in on the market. Please note, we're having 64 homes being absorbed. Um, and the average days on market is about 56. And again, this is for Pinal County as a whole. Each city might be a little bit different. And so as you can see, for here, where it says for new homes for each of these segments, uh, there's quite a bit of inventory coming on, but the inventory that's currently on the market that's being absorbed is being higher for it. So that's where we get the slight seller advantage. There's more homes are selling than they're coming on, but again, they're not moving as fast because lots is happening in the world today and interest rates are expected to go up again and so for some buyers, again, it's going to push them out, but then you're going to have some buyers who are going to realize that, hey, I want to marry the home, but I'm going to date the interest, uh, the interest rate. And so there are programs out there that lenders can explain to you on how to leverage uh, certain things. And nowadays, what's nice with this market is buyers and sellers are having to have conversations when it comes to negotiations because we there's sellers that still have to move because maybe they're relocating, they're downsizing or whatever it may be. And then there's always going to be buyers that need um, homes as well. So in this market, it's a good market because communication can happen. Seller can help the buyer with their pain points and the buyer can help the seller with their pain points. It all comes down to good communication and strategy. So this is for Pinal County and, uh, Unfortunately, the PDFs are not uh, interactive, but they kind of give you a nice diagram of what to expect. And as you can see, we're still showing signs of stabilizing because there's still slight seller's market. You're going to find certain price points are still moving a little bit faster and the higher price points are going to naturally stay on the market longer. And keep in mind, if you're a seller with a home on the market, the holidays are coming up. We don't know how that's going to unfold. And then of course, elections are coming up and I know some people are having to wait to see how that plays out too. It's all understandable, but when it comes down to it, people still need to buy, people still need to sell. We just have to create a game plan that works for you and your family. If you have any questions, feel free to please reach out to me and thank you for allowing me to serve you each week with these market reports. And if you have any questions or if you need help with your real estate needs, please keep me in mind and I'm here to help. You have a blessed day.